So is this is where the kids are going to enter every day? This is the main entrance. So behind us will be parking lots and the driveway over here. And then kids will walk in the main entrance of the school. And I know with the newer schools, we've got uh, secure entrances now, much more so than yes. in the past. Yeah, so in this building, there'll be a secure entrance where families will enter into a lobby. Okay. And then from the lobby, they'll have locked access to either the FCRC or to the main office. Well, let's go take a look at it. All right, sounds good. The project is, uh, it's like an 85,000 square foot uh, building, uh, wood frame construction uh, with some structural steel. We are uh, anticipate moving in uh, early August and we are getting windows put in now. Everything is sort of vertical and getting enclosed. So it's super exciting. So this is the lobby area. So if all the kids are coming in, they can come straight in the building and this hallway goes all the way down the end of the school. But if it's during the school day and they're already here, there'll be locked doors here. So families can come straight into the lobby area mm -hmm. and then they can enter the office or be buzzed into the family resource center as well. So this is the main office. So in the corner where all the insulation is would be our clerk and secretary. Okay. And then there's small offices, conference centers, nurses office, all off of the main office. So this is the family community resource center. For those who don't know, what's going to be happening in this room? Yes, yeah, so in the Family Community Resource Center, we do have a full-time staff member who works here. She works on providing opportunities for families to connect with the school or connect with resources. So it might be job searches, it might be clothing or food or connection with doctor's appointments or insurance. Because we're going to have a much bigger space, our plan is that we can have classes during the day for either small children or for parents. We are looking forward to maybe some cooking classes. Oh, wow. Um, we already have Grow and Learn, which is a preschool program, so that will be up in the front by the windows. Um, maybe technology classes, English language classes. So we have a lot of ideas. Now that we have a space, it wasn't an option in the past. This is the staff lounge, or staff room, I guess oh, wow. we're saying. It act, and the staff room does have a window. Yes. This is like yes. the only time the camera's ever going to be allowed in the teacher's lounge. It's like <laughs> a sacred space. That's my understanding from elementary yes, school. Yes, that's, that's very true. true. How excited is your staff for this new building? They are extremely excited. So the construction crew actually sends us email updates of photos and so I send the photos out and so they all look at them and then everybody's talking about it and then they also share them with their students. So then the students are all talking about the updated photos too. So the latest one that got the most attention was a photo of the start of landscaping. Oh, and so wow. they were very excited about all the rocks and the start of landscaping. So, wow. yes. how, how bitter are the fifth graders? They are not. <laughs> they are very excited because they got to help design it because okay. they worked with LSW and they will have their new school at Mac. Oh, that's true. So they also get a new school. So they, they're okay. <laughs> it's gonna be such a treat for the kids in this community to be able to have something as special as a new school. Uh, our partners with LSW Architects have been fantastic and our contractor Robinson has just been um, amazing to work with. The team is uh, really gelled throughout the process and um, that just gets us a better product. The, the Robinson construction team is um, really um, uh, proficient in building schools, so they've been asking a lot of the right questions in advance to head off any trouble that we might be facing, so I think in the end that's going to give us a much better product. So yeah, this is the common space, and we can see the learning staircase right here that goes upstairs up to the library at the top. Wow. And that will be the platform for performances, but we'll use it for lunch as well. Wow. And so this is the area where students will enter in the morning. We'll serve all of our meals in here, breakfasts and lunch. We will have assemblies in here, school events in here. And so this is an exciting space. You can see the amazing ceiling. Yeah. That is going to be absolutely beautiful. So one thing, when I'm in this space, what I get excited about is, so tradition at Ogden is at the end of every assembly, we sing our school song. So we're already planning right now the last assembly at Ogden for uh, the very end of the school year. And so we're, of course, going to sing our school song there. But the very first time we have an assembly here and get to do it in here will be pretty phenomenal since we'll be able to have kids sit on the learning stairs 
and then you know some kids sitting on the floor and then the reality is we might even be able to just have some classes that just watch assemblies from on the balcony too wow so that'll be a pretty a pretty monumental event so with the learning stairs i mean there's places to sit and watch there's mm -hmm. places to just sit and read i presume yeah um, how, how is that how you sort of envision this as, as just sort of a place for kids to be yeah our vision of course one side will be the staircase to get up and down but then further on the other side it's just bigger spaces where they could eat breakfast or lunch if they wanted to be flexible if it was you know lunch recess and they would choose to just stay inside and read a book mm -hmm. they would have somewhere to do that um, before and after school when we have events there's a possibility to use the space for that too when you look up this way, the library is all going to have glass. So when you look up the staircase, you'll actually see the library and all of the books in the space. Wow. Kind of, kind of makes the books a showcase for the school almost. You know. Absolutely. Highlights the importance of literacy. Sure. All right, so from this area, it makes sense to go over to see the courtyard because we have kind of a natural nature progression sure. through this space. Let's do it. So this direction is our learning courtyard. So obviously in the art room, kids are making art. What happens yeah. in the project space? So in the project space, we have a variety of tools. We have construction type tools, we have sewing, we have craft stuff, um, painting. There's a variety of things. And we actually have a full-time teacher. So we call it a makerspace teacher. And then that teacher partners with classrooms. They do team teaching and they come for design cycle rotation. So each class will come for maybe three to four days in a row and work on a specific challenge. So the idea wow. is you're presented with a challenge, you work in teams to come up with a solution, and you go through that design cycle. You try, you make mistakes, you make changes, and then mm -hmm. in the end you present whatever your product is. Sure. So this is a space where they will do that, and then it's you're seeing through to the art room because there'll be a wall between the two. Is it, is it an, an openable wall then, like a yes. sliding kind of thing? Yes. Okay. And then the other amazing part for art and the project space is the connection to outside. So this is a secure courtyard, so they'll be able to open up everything during the school day and have access to bring their kids right outside into wow. nature. And so that was a huge focus of the building is the connection to nature. And from the courtyard, you can look straight through the commons and then straight through the other courtyard to the trees outside on the playground. Wow. So there's that connection to nature no matter where you are in the building. So what, what, is, what are we gonna see in this space once it's done? So in this space, on either side of us are the studios for grade level wings. So the studio right behind us is a first grade grade level wing. And then the studio in front of us is second grade. And so as you can see, they have the glass and then the doors that open up. So again, they can also have access to the outside. And then here in the courtyard, we are focusing on having areas related to the different things kids study. So we want to have a butterfly garden to go with their kindergarten and their unit there. We have plans for a rock garden um, and then a variety of other gardens where the kids can just work on some of our, our we have some focuses on green schools and so there'll be an opportunity to bring that to life out here in the courtyard every day. And then also the idea that since it is a secure courtyard, um, it's a safe place for the kids, but it's also a safe place for whatever they're creating too. Sure. So the, whatever gardens and things that are growing, we can make sure that we're monitoring it. Sure, that only your, your school community has access. Right. So when you look this way there, it will be fenced so okay. that it's secure. So this area out of here is a, a meadow, is that right? Yes, so the concept here is that uh, instead of traditional grass that you mow and then uh, maintain, it's a, a meadow. It takes a little bit longer to get established, but once it's established, it's uh, pretty much self-sustaining. Um, it's an approach to sustainability that the district would like to take and uh, reducing its maintenance costs and its pollution in the air with mowers and sure. such. So. And it's, and it's real nature, it's not a manicured lawn for, for students. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Is there like an intentional reason that kindergartners are closest to the front, first graders, does it go K, one, two, three, four, yeah. five, all the way back? It, it is intentional. We have the younger kids downstairs and the fourth and fifth graders upstairs. Sure. Uh, the reason that kinder and preschool is up toward the front is preschool is half day program. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted easy access for pick up and drop off of students. Sure. So that's the, the reason for the front location. And then 
we wanted kindergarten all together because they are actually going to have access to a very exciting private outdoor courtyard of their own. So sure. that's what we're walking into right now. Um, so this space right here is going to be just for kindergarten and preschool. When they do their centers and structured playtime, mm -hmm. this area, so it has part of it is covered and it actually is going to have a track going around <laughs> for scooters and tricycles. And it has, um, you know, various things for, you know, walk for balance beams, um, games for letter identification, all mm -hmm. sorts of things built into this outdoor play area so that different classes can take turns for centers having outside access. Wow. And so is, are the entrances to each classroom just here in this courtyard or there, is there an interior entrance as well or is it all? No, there is the exterior entrance. So this would be covered mm -hmm. um, so that you do have a covered area, but you would you do go outside to get to the different classrooms here. Sure. And so these that you see will be glass. There's a door and then a glass door that opens too. Okay. And then of course, the addition of preschool we are very excited about because that's not something we've been able to offer before. Mm -hmm. And so it will be great to connect with families earlier in a preschool program. Sure, make sure the kids are ready for kindergarten when exactly. they start. Yeah, and they've already been at school. They know mm -hmm. school's a fun, safe place to be. Yes. Kind of build a culture before they even get here. Exactly. That's cool. Whoa, there's cabinets already here. Oh, wow. Uh, so this is two kindergarten classrooms because there's a wall by us. And I'm very excited because you can see built-ins over here. So they kindergarten have a built-in section and then each classroom has a bathroom. This almost makes it seem like a real classroom, right? I, that's what I was thinking. It does look like a real classroom. This was not here last time I had visited. Okay, so right now we're entering into the fitness space. Okay. And the biggest thing you'll probably notice right away is windows. There are windows and natural light in the fitness space. Yeah, and if you've ever been in one of these old school buildings, you know those gyms are dank and dark places. Yes. So um, we have the natural light, and then we also have the doors that open right to the outdoor space. So on nice days like today, uh, the teachers can choose to take their kids right outside. Mm -hmm. Another huge change is that we have a space for fitness, and then we also have a space for dance. Oh, so wow. in most of our schools, those two programs have to share a space. So for the first time, they are connected over here with a movable wall. They mm -hmm. can choose to team and all be together, or they can choose to use the space separately. And so wow. that's, that's huge for our program, just having that option. Sure. Okay. And so the dance space also, as you can see, has nice high ceilings and then the window right to the outside. So keeping with that connection to nature all throughout the building. So, so this big doorway here, this is a garage door? Yeah, a garage door that opens to the outside. So in this space, we're still working on that connection to nature. Uh -huh. And so when the kids are inside in the play space, they're looking directly out to our outdoor playground. So it's kind of blocked by materials, but the two cement spaces you see out there are where the stru play structure will go, so those rubber tiles. Mm -hmm. And then behind the play structure in the tree area, there'll be nature play areas where there's trails and things that kids can go on. And then back the other direction, there will be a covered play area, which we do live in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> it rains a lot, and at Ogden, it doesn't. We go out for recess regardless of the weather. That's good. And so it will be very nice to have that covered play option. We currently do have a covered area, but it's on the wrong side of the building, so we actually can't use it for recess. Oh wow! So this makes a lot more sense. to the upstairs and upstairs are our fourth and fifth grades okay so just like downstairs they also have a studio space that's in the front area and so they have windows that look out over the courtyard and then also five classrooms in this space as well it'll be a lot different to have two stories in a school what, what kind of differences do you anticipate that making We've already thought about, um, with our expectations in the building, we're gonna need to be teaching expectations around which side of the stairwell you go <laughs> up, and then also creating routines on who uses what stairwell when. Sure. So does one grade use this one, another grade uses the other? How do we enter and exit the building in the morning, recess time, mm -hmm. at the end of the day? 
all of that we will be working on and coming up with a plan. So on this side is one grade level, fourth or fifth, and then this side would be the other grade level. And then this is the main entrance to the upper grades, the fourth and fifth grade. Okay. So we can peek down here to where you can overlook into the commons area. And then here is the amazing view looking at the library and also the commons. Wow. Okay, it's, a, it's, it's kind of a blank canvas now, but in a few months there's going to be little feet running everywhere. And like, can you visualize kids in this space? Well, I think about how fast the time has already gone because I vividly remember the uh, planning symposium for Ogden and like can even remember like very specific parts of the presentation I gave to kick that off. And so it seems kind of amazing that we went from that and then being at LSW in meetings and, you know, seeing visuals that the architects would show us of the learning staircase or different things on the playground. Mm -hmm. And then going to the next one of seeing this 3D video that we've seen of what the space looks like. Yeah. And then now to this next stage of, oh, you can start to recognize things. And then the reality knowing before we even know it, it will literally be planning for the first day of school and kids coming in. So it'll be exciting. There's a lot to happen before then, but it'll be very exciting. The library currently at Ogden is the center of the building. So it changes a little bit here because we do have the common space, but we still wanted to elevate the importance of the library. Yeah. And so I feel like with this grand staircase kind of leading up into the library and that visual from below, you see that huge importance of the space. Mm -hmm. And we do use it a lot. You know, it's a, it's a community space. It's where we want to bring our classes together, bring families together. And so it will be so nice to have all of the books set up here and then that glass looking down um, into the commons area. So it kind of will always be there. So even when kids are eating lunch, they see right there the library. Oh, that's great. You know, this is a community space. Have you heard from your parent community? How excited are your families to have this yeah. new space in here? They are so excited. And the reality is we just really want a building that kids can take pride in. Yeah. To the kids, they just don't know what could be. Mm -hmm. And so it's excited. They only know what they have. So I can start to picture, you know, whenever we have our back to school night, you know, everybody coming in and just being wowed yeah. by not even necessarily realizing the potential of what their school could look like. Sure. And so then they'll know. Yeah. It's little brains. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. That's then they'll great. see how amazing it can be. The design is there and then you hope that, that what we build uh, is going to provide the owner, the district, what they want. Um, you know, you like to think the kids are going to want to come to the building and want to learn. Um, so yeah, that, that is a, a cool aspect of building a school. We are so grateful to the voters. I have to say that um, this is a really once in a lifetime chance for people who work for the district, for the community to be able to open up a new school. And we know that the existing Ogden Elementary School has been great, um, but it is past its prime. and. Um, to be able to show the community and the kids that uh, they're this valued, uh, they're going to feel amazing when they come into this building. Wait till you see it, it's beautiful.